yeah so our today's topic that is your pure and impure substances okay so pure substances or pure chemical substances that will be those type of substances beta which are made up of only one kind of atom okay okay you can also understand with the help of or with the example of gold okay if you would like to take a piece of gold so can you imagine that all the particles or all the atom that have the same characteristic or not um they yes they have the same characteristics yes because that all the particles they have characteristic just like as gold okay so that's okay. why when miss chemical substances which have same characteristic okay with respect to their atom so that is known as your pure chemical substances okay okay yeah suppose that if uh, means always that you would like to see that uh, means if there is any type of advertisement that is coming uh, in your television or internet or anywhere suppose that related to food and beverage that is coming uh, means a pure substance okay so that means if you would like to see a carton of pure orange juice or pure mineral water okay so what does it mean it means that nothing else was added to the orange juice <coughs> or mineral water during manufacturing okay okay yes means suppose that if there is if you will take example of mineral water or orange juice okay so that means while preparing orange juice there is a nothing type of substance that is included or that is added okay extra okay. of orange juice okay that, that means there will be only an only orange juice in that container in pure form okay that okay. means yeah you can also understand that if you would like to take a sip of that orange juice so 100% that you will get the taste of orange okay nothing other okay. than nothing nothing other than any other substance or material okay okay yeah so also so that means what what so what you have to understand you have to understand one thing that pure substance will be those type of substance or those kind of substance which are only made up of one atom okay which are made up of one kind of atom clear yes in science a pure substance that contains only one element or compound okay okay you can also understand this one like water okay so suppose that here water that is oh wait a second i have to explain that in a, on your screen give me a second i have to open my graphic tablet so yeah give me one second I think that uh, I think there is no need to write that everything. Are you, are you understanding or not? Oh uh, yes, I am understanding. Oh yes, yes, yes. So I don't think that I have to write that because everything that is written on is screen, beta. Okay. So you just have to understand that a pure substance contains only one element or compound. You can also understand that element if you are taking, if you are thinking about element. So suppose that if there is gold here in India. Yes. Okay. If there is gold here in India, if I would like to carry that in United Kingdom or UK where you are living, okay. So is it yes. possible that uh, that's characteristic will change or not? Oh uh, no. Yeah. Why? Because that gold will always be gold either anywhere that you would like to carry that. Okay. So why? Yes. Because that each and every because gold element that have the same type of atom which have the same characteristic okay that's why okay. it is not possible that if you would like to carry that element anywhere surrounding the world that's characteristic will not change that's why we can say that is your pure substance okay okay also if you would like to talk about compound so we can take example of water okay as usual i explained that to you in your previous class that water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen or not uh yes yes so means also you can understand in this way that water is the mixture of hydrogen and oxygen 
as usual or in other words you can also understand that if you will combine the hydrogen element with oxygen element then it will form a compound water okay okay so is it possible that i am drinking water here in india and is it possible that if i would like to carry a, a water bottle from here india to united kingdom is it possible that characteristic or that identity will change or not no it won't no change. because that either in any country if i would like to carry that water bottle okay that's so water configuration and characteristic will never change clear yes so that's why we can say that that is also a pure compound okay okay in that way yes give me one second give me one second okay Yeah, I am fine. So, do you understand all that which I explained? Yes, sir. Great, very good, beta. Thanks for your cooperation. Very good, beta. If you will feel a little bit problem, beta, of understanding any else, without hesitation, you can ask me. I'll explain hundred times to you until or unless you will not be able to understand that. Clear? Yes. Thanks. So. next beta mineral water is mostly water okay normally that is water but there are other substances also mixed with it okay okay Min mineral water yes so these are the type of ingredients okay that you can see listed on the mineral water bottle okay so suppose that if you would like to buy a mineral water bottle okay so or you can see that a glass of mineral water okay that is not a pure water why because that in a pure water there will be only only water they have the characteristic only water okay nothing will be there okay expecting water but if you would like to take mineral water so just in that <coughs> mineral water you have to understand that there will be some extra substances will be there mix with it okay yes yeah these are the ingredients that you can see listed on the water bottle yeah here you are seeing that there is a water bottle label so here you can see that a little bit ingredient that is your sodium ion beta na plus that is it is your sodium ion okay yes and calcium ca plus 2 calcium ions okay and then okay. Ca calcium ion magnesium ions yes okay yeah, give me one second okay yeah give me one second ha huh. yes yes Give me one second. Let me check my carrier over here. Oh yes. Now, thank God. So that means, but do you understand that what is the difference between water and mineral water? Water that yes. is your pure substance. There will be nothing expecting water. Okay, that means hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. Because okay. and one one more important thing you can ask me a question that sir, as usually you are seeing that. Uh, water is a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen so that is a mixture so how is it possible that we can say that it is a pure substance but yes we can say that why because that you can say that hydrogen is a pure element or not uh it is yes and in the same way oxygen is also pure element okay 
and when yes. you will combine when you will combine two pure elements so then whatever will be your product that will also be pure okay okay yes but if you would like to take the example of mineral water so here you can see that like in mineral water there will be a little bit component of sodium calcium magnesium chlorine sulfate nitrate okay so all these will be in ionic form yeah you can ask me one question over there why sir why they are in ionic form because a little bit composition that will be added over there okay okay in micro form okay very very least amount okay okay yeah so that's why that we can say that mineral water that is the type of mixture and other substances that's why we can consider it as mixture not pure substances okay okay it is a type of impure substance okay if yes. you would yeah if you would like to see the particles of pure water you are seeing here red and white okay so h2o okay so two hydrogen that will be white in color and one oxygen that will be red in color okay when these two will combine they will form pure water okay yes and nothing and nothing else okay and nothing else okay okay so always remember that when two pure substances will combine together they will form also a pure substance okay yes also you have to remember that if any other type of ingredient that you would like to mix with water then that will not pure further why because the other ingredient just uh, that will be just like as impurity with respect to water beta okay okay yeah me suppose that uh, i think that uh, in normal days you generally use tea oh yeah in morning yeah that's a, a big indian that every indian that used to take tea in the morning and evening so beta when, suppose that just imagine that your mom is preparing tea okay when she would like to take water in pan okay okay yes and then in that condition water will be in pure form but when she would like to add uh, sugar and uh, tea leaves okay and other ingredients over there okay so in that condition whatever tea will prepare that will not a pure substance okay because okay. there is a combination of tea means there will be the taste of tea sugar milk and water okay okay so with respect to water milk sugar and tea they are the type of ingredients that are mixed in that one and which would like to increase the boiling point of water yes suppose that you can also understand that okay that means next time that means when your mom would like to prepare tea then just to go in the kitchen okay and just stand over there and just see and in which way that she is preparing firstly she would like to take water and then and then she will start to boil that water okay when that water will start to boil that means at 100 degree centigrade and then she would like to then she would like to uh, mix some amount of uh, tea leaves and sugar over there okay then clearly you can see that when she will mix sugar and uh, tea leaves over there then the boiling of water will stop yes yes and then after few times then again it will start to boil so what does it mean it means that firstly there was pure water and then when the temperature would like to reach up to 100 degree centigrade then it is start boiling okay but when you uh -huh. are adding a little bit tea leaves and sugar so tea leaves and sugar are just like as impurity okay so that's okay. why that that's why that the boiling point that would like to decrease okay so that means okay. again it would like to take a little bit more time to reach up to that level okay where that mixture would like to boil okay okay now again next step is that when that mixture water that would like to mixture ingredient with water that would like to boil and when she would like to add a little bit amount of water a little bit amount of uh, 
milk in that one okay so 100% again it will stop boiling again why because with respect to that milk is also a type of impurity which would like to increase its boiling point okay okay and after few time again it will reach up to that temperature when the whole mixture will start to boil and within uh, within one or two minute of boiling that your mom will take off that from the gas and then she would like to serve that okay that will be your tea now you understand that what is your pure what is impure substances yes so i mean to explain this example to you my main aim was to explain you that if you will use any ingredient with pure substance it will increase its boiling point okay okay yes means or you can also understand in this way suppose that if water is boiling water takes to uh, water takes 10 minute or 5 minute to boil and if you and then in 5 minutes the water is start to boil and if you will add ingredients like milk sugar or tea in that one then again it will take 7 minute or 8 minute to boil okay okay you can also understand in uh, this practical also suppose that on one side just take only water okay and then on other on other side on the gas just take the mixture of water milk sugar and all that okay okay and then just lit the gas you will see clearly that in both conditions that pure water will start to boil quickly okay and okay. then at the same time the mixture that will not start to boil it clearly explains that when there will be a mixture then the boiling point will increase okay Okay. Do you understand that? Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Beta. Now we can move to the next page. Thank God this time that Skype is not uh, disconnecting. Okay. So next is your beta mixture. As I explained that to you, that mixture that means mixture contains different substances. Okay? okay which are not chemically joined to each other okay means you can also okay. understand with the help of same example of tea so mixture that means tea is the mixture of uh, pure water milk tea leaves and sugar okay individually okay. if you would like to see then tea leaves they are pure individually okay sugar that is pure individually okay milk that is pure substance individually but 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 when you would like to add all of them then they would like to form a impure mixture okay okay that is not pure okay so here you can see that there is a herd of or uh, there is a mixture of gems okay of different color it is possible quite possible for you to separate all the different color gems okay so okay. individually if they are of separate color they are pure substances okay okay yeah when they will separate they are pure substances but when you will combine that in a form of mixture then that mixture is not pure okay okay do you understand that yes sir great so now next is dissolving beta dissolving that is mixing okay you can okay. you can understand dissolving with a very very easy example suppose that just take a glass of water and uh, take a two or three teaspoon of sugar okay okay and then start to stir that okay after okay. few minute that you will see that sugar particles that will disappear in that liquid okay or in water okay. so yes. most important or most important question is that where the sugar particles has gone 
so as usual you know that in your previous class when i was explaining you solid liquid and gas then i explained that to you that in liquid there becomes a little bit of space between the particles or not uh yes so sugar particles would like to settle in those free spaces okay okay yes that's why that when they occupy that empty space of water that's why that it is not possible for us to see that in that sugar solution clear yes so if i am talking about sugar sugar solution so it's my duty to explain you that what are the main component of solution okay there are two basic component of solution first one is your solute and the other one that is your solvent okay now in one question that would like to come in your mind that sir what is solute so solute that means those substance which you are dissolving okay <coughs> like sugar okay and solvent that means the substance in which you are dissolving okay okay like water okay yes so that means if there is sugar solution then sugar will be your solute because you are dissolving that okay and okay. solvent will be your water because you are dissolving sugar in water okay okay or in simple words again i am repeating that solute will be those substances which you are dissolving and solvent will be those substances in which you are dissolving okay okay understand yes great so here uh, you are seeing a picture in which one that uh, a magnet is pulling iron fillings out of sulfur powder okay so this one what they are explaining here firstly they are mixing sugar uh, mixing uh, magnetic particles okay or you can see that iron fillings iron fillings in, into sugar powder okay and when it will be properly mixed with that one then they are applying a magnet over there and 100% that all the particles of iron filling they would like to attract by magnet okay so it is the best way to separate magnetic substances into a impure mixture okay okay understand yes sir or you can also understand that if you want to if you want to separate iron fillings from the mixture of sulfur powder and iron filling then you can use magnet because as usual you know that due to of magnetic property magnet would like to attract iron fillings or steel substances okay okay always remember that steel substances magnetic uh, steel substances substances are magnetic iron substances are magnetic and cobalt are magnetic okay so that means okay. means what do you mean by magnetic magnetic means when a magnet would like to place near iron cobalt or steel then it would like to attract all these substances okay okay do you understand that yes sir there was a scientist john chase okay who firstly defined the term solute solvent and solution okay okay next one is your diffusion okay so diffusion that means what suppose that diffusion is the process of mixing one substance into another okay okay yes so means mixing of one substance to another also you can understand that it is the process of mixing means diffusion you can understand with the help of two different gases beta you know okay. yes suppose that if there will be one fragrant gas okay and yes. other one that is normal gas okay, okay. so clearly when the frag fragrant gas you can uh, means normal gas you can understand that the particles of yellow in color which you are seeing over here and the fragrance gas that you are seeing that red in color okay or orange in color okay so okay. when these two substances or two gases will collide 
okay so very quickly due to of kinetic energy all the fragrant particles that would like to capture all the vacant places between yellow one or not uh yes yes yeah you can see that I me mean, suppose that here you are seeing that group of orange one okay before before diffusion and here you are seeing that there are a little bit gap between the yellow particles or not yes so these red particles would like to occupy those vacant places okay, okay. and then next condition that will be this one after diffusion before diffusion that is your first picture after diffusion that is your next picture so what i mean to explain you here so that means diffusion is only possible when two gases will tend to collide okay or when two gases will tend to mix okay okay as usual we know that gases particles have the type of tendency to move in all direction and in very quick manner okay so when okay. one gas would like to combine with another one so very quickly the gas particles would like to mix with other okay because there are many vacant places over there okay okay do you understand that yes sir great so this process is known as diffusion so clearly you can say that what i am explaining i am explaining that diffusion is the process of mixing one substance to another substance okay or one gas to another gas clear yes great so now next is your yeah so always remember that uh, diffusion that will be quick in gases because the particles are able to move quickly in all direction okay that means the first topic that is written here also and now the next topic that is a little bit slow in liquid because you can see that if you would like to mix one liquid to other liquid okay so indirectly that they will mix each other okay no doubt okay because okay. also you can understand that when i was explaining about solid liquid and gas also i explained that in gases there becomes a large space between the particles and also in liquid there becomes a little bit less space than gas okay but there becomes space that's why that if you would like to mix sugar in water then very easily that sugar would like to mix with water clear yes so indirectly i mean to say that diffusion is also possible a little bit in liquid okay yes but if you would like to take example of solid or you can you can understand in this way suppose that uh, there is a silver particles okay and there yes. uh, means there are silver particles and there are gold particles if you would like to mix together is it possible that they will mix uh no no, no. why because there becomes a, not a free space between the particles of solid okay that's why okay. they do not have the property of diffusion or mixing okay okay miss you can also understand that suppose that if i would like to if i would like to show you okay if i would like to show you the mixture of gold and silver and if i would like to show you the mixture of sugar solution or salt solution okay so you can clearly identify the gold particle and silver particle in gold silver mixture but it is not possible for you to determine or to identify that sugar particles in sugar solution clear yes understand yes sir great also you can see that what i explained that to you here few minutes before you can see here is also written that diffusion quickly spread particles throughout a gas okay okay also diffusion explains why the smell of cooking is spread through the house you can also understand this event in this way suppose that uh, there is a uh, christmas eve okay so 100% of being christian that your mom would like to prepare different type of delicious food in kitchen ha huh? 
Yes. So in that way, suppose that you are a little bit away from the kitchen in your room. Okay. Okay. Suppose that you and Amelia, you and Amelia are there. Okay. Then when your mom would like to bake something. Okay. So when yes. she would like to bake something, then the particles of that material would like to be spread out into the atmosphere or not. Uh, yes. And as usual, the those particles that will be in gaseous form, so that's why they would like to move quickly or not. Uh, yes. And when they move quickly, that means they have kinetic energy. Okay. Always okay. remember that if any object is moving, so that contains a kinetic energy. If an object is in rest position, so there will be no kinetic energy. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So when your mom start to bake something delicious, so with the uh, so with the help of atmosphere, that part gets. Oh, miss. Suppose that she is baking something. Always remember also one thing, beta. If you will bake something, then that the density will be less. Okay. Okay. After baking, the density of substance, okay, or the object will be less dense. Okay. Density, you can also understand that its weight will be less. Okay. And okay. if its weight will be less, then a hundred percent, it would like to move quickly or not. It will. Yes. Okay. So you can also understand in this way. Suppose that your weight is less than Amelia. Okay, a little bit. I am guessing that. So it may be possible that if Amelia and you start to run, then I think that you would like to move a little bit faster. Okay, than Amelia. Okay. Okay. Why? Because that light particles always have larger kinetic energy in them. Okay. Okay. Understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. So that means in that condition, then the fragrance of baked material that would like to move quickly in all direction, and very quickly it would like to come in your room, and then you will be able to identify, okay, that what kind of material that your mom is preparing in kitchen. Okay. Okay. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Great. If you are not understanding anything, so I can explain again that to you. Are you able? Okay. Are you understanding everything, Vita? Yes, sir. Fantastic. Very good. I am opening the new page. One second. Yeah. In uh, investigating diffusion. Okay. So, Vita, I explained different examples regarding to this one. Okay. So if you want to investigate diffusion, okay. So you can you can do that in this way. Suppose that with just take the mixture, just take the mixture of uh, means uh, gold and silver. Okay. Is it possible okay. that uh, your mom is mixing gold and silver in kitchen? Is it possible for you to determine that your mom is mixing gold or uh, gold or silver? No. No. Why? Because that you will not be able to realize you you will not be able to smell its fragrance. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Actually, my mom was asking something to me. So, so in that condition, it is not possible that you will be uh, you will be able to configure that your mom is mixing what solid material. Okay. Hello. 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 Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. So. So that means what I was explaining that if your mom is mixing gold and silver, okay, in kitchen or in his in her room, so it is not possible for you to understand that what material that you are, what material she is mixing, okay? Okay. And next is suppose that if she is if she is preparing sugar syrup, okay, 
or sugar solution okay or suppose that if she is preparing tea okay so that means in that condition that is a liquid so when she would like to prepare tea then when tea will be in the condition or when tea will be in uh, in the stage when it will start to boil then it's a particle that would like to move into air or not uh it will yes so clearly you can understand suppose that if you will be on other room okay so you will clearly understand that oh yes mom is preparing tea okay yes and also so that means here is the example by which you can understand that a little bit diffusion that is possible with respect to liquid okay yes now the third condition is that if your mom is uh mixing a miss or preparing some food stuff okay when she yes. would like to bake something then that's fragrance that would like to spread out in the whole atmosphere okay and okay. then so that means a whole atmosphere so the gap between the particles that will be maximum okay so that's why okay. that it would like to move very fast and then it will be much convenient for you to understand that what your mom is baking if you would like to be a little bit away from your kitchen okay yes understand yes so what what they are explaining by their experiment what they are doing here so that means diffusion in solid okay get a solid is of colored gelatin okay and place a single large crystal of potassium magnet okay magnet okay. yeah yes in sir. the center okay time how long it take to see evidence of diffusion no yes. there will be there will be no diffusion because it is not possible to mix potassium magnet to gelatin okay okay yeah so next is diffusion in liquid get a beaker of cold water okay that has been allowed to stand undistributed for several hours okay then add a single large okay. crystal of potassium magnet in that one okay understand by by okay. dropping yeah. it down drinking a straw whose end is at the bottom center to the beaker see if diffusion happens more quickly or slowly in liquid than solid yes you can also understand in this way suppose that just take a glass of water okay or transparent glass of water okay and then just place a drop of ink in that one it is the very famous and easy example which would like to explain you that diffusion is possible in liquid or not if you will place a drop of ink in the liquid or water then you can see clearly that it would like it would like to take a little bit minute okay or few minutes and then the whole water that will be of that ink color okay okay understand yes sir great now the third one so that means you can clearly understand that a diffusion that may be possible in liquid but a little bit slower rate okay yeah okay. because you can see clearly that when you will mix a drop of ink in the water then it would like to take a little bit time to mix thoroughly okay or overall yes and the third one just spray a strong smelling body spray okay into the atmosphere yeah. and if you are two rooms away from your father's room okay suppose that your father is applying a spray or scent okay he wants to yes. go in a party okay and if you are away two or three rooms away from your father's room so 100% very quickly that you would like to analyze that oh my god that someone is applying scent why because when the scent would like to come from the narrow nozzle okay okay because okay. also you have to understand that beta uh, 
if you would like to see the scent bottle then you can clearly configure that all the scent that would like to be in liquid state or not uh, it will be yes but indirectly if i would like to tell you then you wouldn't believe that that is not liquid when you will compress gas okay previously it was in yes. gases form and then uh, means different machinery with the help of different machinery or utensils that you will apply a pressure on the gas particles of that scent and when you apply pressure of that of the of that particles then due to pressure the gas particles would like to come close to each other okay and then that will be the okay. condition when gas will convert into liquid form okay okay so that's why i explained that to you i think that uh, i hope you remember that when i was explaining about the property of gases then i explained that to you that compression is only possible in gases okay okay yeah, that means you can only compress gases compression that means the process of reducing the space between the particles of the gas okay okay if you are reducing the space between the particles of gas so 100% that when the space between the particles that will be less then the gas will convert into liquid form or not it will yes because i explained that to you that in liquid the space between the particles that is less as compared to of gases okay okay and again if you would like to compress liquid okay again if you would like to compress liquid then after few time it will convert into solid okay you can okay. you can also understand the compression of liquid in this way suppose that just take a tray of water okay and place that into refrigerator freezer okay in refrigerators freezer okay so when you will place that in freezer so what you are doing you are applying you uh, miss uh, you are placing water in freezer so what freezer will uh, what freezer will do actually freezer in fridge there becomes freon gas okay there becomes freon gas so what is the main function of freon gas it would like to reduce the uh, space between the particles of liquid okay and okay. when the and when the space between the particles of liquid that will be reduced then 100% that when a space will reduce then it will convert into solid form or not it won't yes so that means that now your water will convert into ice okay yes so here in this experiment what i explained that to hear what that is given on your screen so there is a type of risk what potassium magnate okay that is a strong oxidizing agent okay and that is dangerous okay. for the environment okay water eye protection okay. okay when using it yeah water eye protection that means if you are doing this practical or this experiment then you have to wear glasses okay or you have to wear specs okay, okay. so that it will not harm because it may be possible that when you would like to mix that it would like to create a type of a splash okay yes when yes. You, yeah when would like to add that in beaker okay so in that way it will create it will create a splash because that there becomes some substances when you would like to add them okay in other substances miss directly or quickly okay they due to okay. inter, yeah due to intermolecular force of repulsion okay they would okay. like to create a splash okay and it may be possible that okay. with that splash that will come in contact of your eyes or any of body part then you would like to suffer okay you can also understand in this way okay. suppose that if you want to mix concentrate sulfuric acid or concentrate hydrochloric acid do you know about hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid if uh, 
your uh, teacher in your school would like to visit to all of you students in laboratory practical lab um hello it's breaking yeah hello hello i am yeah are you able to hear me uh it's are, it's breaking are you able to hear me now uh yes just a bit yeah so yeah give me one second that i am improving that one give me one second yeah now you are able to hear me clearly yes great so miss uh, i am asking to you that uh, do your teacher used to uh, miss uh, go to uh, in a laboratory with all of his students to explain about the different type of experiments in there yes so i think that if you would like to uh, look around in your uh, laboratory then sometimes that you would like to see that in a transparent bottle there becomes a liquid in which one there is a type of fume coming out huh yes so that is the type of concentrated liquid okay okay i am requesting you do not touch that okay in laboratory they are very dangerous okay okay and yeah because they are concentrated acids okay and i think that i hope you uh, uh, you had heard somewhere or you had read out about that if uh, always that if you are mixing and concentrated acid okay if you are mixing a concentrated acid into any other substances okay then yes, you yeah. have to you have to place your concentrated concentrated acid bottle at the corner of your brim of that liquid means another liquid and then you have to pour okay slightly at the corner okay so that it would like to move with the help of surface of that okay because if you would like to if you would like to drop that or pour that directly in the middle okay so there will be a type of a splash and then that concentrated acid would like to splash and it would like to come in contact of any of your body part and as usual you know that if acid that would that will affect so main affection of acid that you will feel a type of irritation and also a little a little bit a miss miss you will feel a miss jealous of your skin okay or skin burn you will feel okay you will feel miss not of jealous you can say sorry <laughs> jealous is another way another word and another meaning okay so means you can also understand that skin burn specifically if i would like to say in science language so you would like to feel a uh, means skin burn when that acid would splash on your body okay and it will okay. also yes it will harm you yes understand so yes. that's why that precaution point of view that always pour concentrated acid Uh, with respect to brim okay yeah so that means at the corner when you will start to pour then with the help of uh, the surface of a container it would like to come from that bottle means concentrated bottle to that given liquid okay okay so what means what is the result of this experiment actually this experiment means that always diffusion take place very slowly in solid because the particles are locked are very very close to each other okay a little bit diffusion that is possible in liquid because uh, there is a little bit of space between the particles of liquid okay, okay. and there will be a little bit uh, yeah and diffusion will be maximum in gases okay okay why because the particles of the gases are very far from each other also 
that means there becomes a maximum space between the particles okay okay uh, that is the main cause by which if you would like to mix one gas to another then it would like to mix very quickly clear okay understand do you yes, understand sir. clearly yes sir great yes and one more important thing what you have to understand over here so you have to understand that if you are doing this kind of practical so your measurement that should be accurate okay okay so that means okay. there there should not be a deficiency in your observation okay so means it it means that means suppose okay. that it, it should not be possible that whatever reading that you are collecting in one experiment if you are doing the same experiment after few time okay after, after few minutes then the reading would like to be changed a little bit change that is with respect to surrounding okay atmospheric pressure or amount of liquid okay it 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 wouldn't be possible that suppose that whatever amount of liquid that you are taking one time that the same amount that you will be able to take another time exactly no okay so but if you would like to take average of last three experiment then i think that you would like to be a very close to each other okay also your measurement that should be precise okay if they are similar when completed again Okay. okay your experiment that should be repeatable so experiment should be repeatable what does it mean it means that suppose that if you are if you are doing a practical and you are getting some observation okay okay so it means that if your friend will do the same practical so i hope so that she he or she will also get the same result or same observation a little bit in different okay but approximately we suppose that if you are getting reading 15.6 so it may be possible that your your friend would like to uh, uh, your friend would like to take reading of 15.2 15.3 or 15.4 15.8 okay but round off that will be 15 plus okay okay uh, then that means whatever practical that you did that that is accurate okay also okay. your experiment that should be reproducible okay okay uh, if okay. other other gets precise measurement when they repeat it okay it okay. means that it means that if you are doing a particular experiment so whatever product that you are getting after experiment if your friends will do the same experiment they will also get the same product in their experiment okay okay yes that is known as reproducible okay, okay. so clearly you can understand that reproducible means that if you are getting the if you are getting one product and the same experiment that is doing that your friends are doing so they will also get the same experiment without any doubt okay okay understand yes sir great so beta i hope you understand all that which i explained to you to you yes you have to do one thing you just have to revise all that within few hours okay or when okay. you uh, or next day that means in morning you will see that your class will be uploaded or uh, within 24 hours because beta i have to teach continuously yeah so in that way when i will uh, when i will get free time then i will upload your class and your sister's class okay and i hope you enjoyed today's okay. class beta don't forget to like and also if you are feeling any problem okay then you can see this video again and again so that to get efficiency in this one okay also you can tell about okay. my channel to your friends so that if they are not reachable to me so they will also be able to get efficient knowledge of okay so thanks for your cooperation okay. beta have a great time and greetings to your parents thank you bye bye bye